Yeah. Okay. There's something you all got to remember. Okay. Don't forget, okay? Let's Don't forget it. because most people think this is a part of our culture. But anyone can tell, give me one name of an invasive plant. The Casarino. One of our biggest problems here in the Bahamas. And since we've been cutting them down, there's been a big argument and thing with the people. They saying now what they could picnic under when they go on the beach. You know what I mean? But uh, the castorina is what y'all walking on. Um, it's the, it depresses weeds and vegetation. And this area we ain't weed in months. You can see hardly any weeds. Mm -hmm. um, so that's now like why you can't find sea grape and you can't find cocoa plums on the beach now. Because when I used to hit the beach and used to hit this track, you could pick cocoa plums and sea grape for this. Mm -hmm. So like now, nah, you go on the beach, you can't find one sea grape tree. Because uh, the castorinas, they drop their needle leaves. It depressed every weed and vegetation around it. Uh, and it's invasive. It came from Australia in the 1930s. So it's doing more damage than doing good. Then when hurricanes come, the hurricanes flip them over, they damage the beach and it's hard to get it back to what it was. If you try burn this root system right here, this is a castorino. We cut it down, we put oil on it. If you try burn this to get rid of it, try to move as much of it as possible, the root system will stay light so it could damage property around it so it might get like for miles underneath the ground and kill everything around it wow. so it's, it's a big problem um, but that's the only shade you can find on the beach now because they're killing everything else 